today I'm going to be showing you how to make these uh, really cute uh, pajama pants for your AG doll. Uh, and Luciana is helping me today, so let's get started. Okay, so for this project you will need a sewing machine or a uh, needle and thread, some fabric, um, I have a whole thing full, and this is the one that I'll be using today. Um, I almost sent it with a uh, template, and what you would do is uh, you would, let's say, you want to use this baseball fabric. Uh, you want fold the stick, obviously, but you would like fold it in half, and then you'd um, trace or pin around it, and then you'd cut it out. <laughs> um, and then I have a little instruction manual because I haven't done this in a while. Um, Uh, some elastic so that you can actually fit around your doll. Some scissors to cut loose threads and um, the elastic. Um, a doll. Oops. A doll so that you know uh, how big or how long. Also, going to need a tape measure so that you can know how you want to uh, do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn uh, the bottom part down a quarter of an inch. And the bottom part is the uh, part that's longer. Uh, and make sure you fold down the other side so that you don't sew them together. Don't worry, I've been there, done that. Uh, also, I ironed it down before you did it, but if you're younger, I'd recommend uh, having a parent do it for you. Okay, so you're going to start sewing a little bit and then like sew a few stitches and then you're going to back stitch and then you can continue sewing forward. And then when you get to the end, you're going back again, and then you can cut your sex. That is what it looks like when it is done. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is stitch the fronter scent seam, and that is the curly 
seam on the back. Okay, so now that you're finished, you're just going to want to uh, cut your threads and then you're done with that section. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to iron it down three quarters of an inch. And remember, if it will uh, get, uh, have a parent do it for you uh, so that you don't do it yourself. And what you're going to do is you're going to take out the pins on the side that you didn't sew the front seam, so I guess the back. And then you're just going to unfold it. And that's so that you can sew uh, where the elastic is going to go. And when you sew it, uh, sew uh, as close to the edge of that part as possible so that uh, you can fit your last again. Uh, also, you're going to make sure that the side that you sewed um, is laying like the same way it was when it was folded. Uh, if that makes sense, but so that the elastic can. Also, uh, you want to pin the uh, place where you uh, are going to sew the elastic in, so that it doesn't make sense and all that stuff. So I actually had to uh, rip the whole thing out and uh, redo it because uh, I didn't pin it. So don't be like me and uh, make sure you put your pins in. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, I had to, like I said before, rip it out and uh, redo it. Uh, so now we're going to get to the part where you put the elastic. So you're going to want to take your doll and your elastic and you're just going to wrap it around where you want it to be on her. 
Okay, so mine's going to be about this long, and once you've measured it, uh, you're going to want to uh, cut it. And um, if you just guess, uh, that won't work too well because then it could be like too big or too small. I'll uh, show here in a second. Yeah, so uh, that pair is like, I guess, on the elastic, so that won't work. So uh, measure it. I guess, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to uh, put a safety pin through your elastic and then you're just going to want to start to insert it into your seam. So uh, I'll get started for you and then I'll explain how to do it. Right, so what you're going to want to do, I have started it a little bit, is you're just going uh, to want to uh, sort of you're going to want to move the fabric on one side, like the side that's, like the side that the safety pin is going, uh, just like it's shown on the screen. And then you're just going to want to move the other fabric back, and that's so that it can move on. Also, when you get it to where there's like only a little bit left, uh, pin it, and so then it'll start to like cinch up, and then you uh, won't pull it through. Okay, so when you get to the end, uh, it should be like all scrunched up by now. Uh, I didn't pin it at the beginning, so, uh, it, so I actually had to like, redo it. But when you get to the end, it should be scrunched up and you're just going to pin it through. Okay, so I just finished the elastic, and uh, as you can see, it's scrunched up. That's what you're going to want to do. Um, and then what you're going to do like after you pin it is you're just going to want to measure it around the doll just to make sure it like works like it'll fit around her so that it doesn't have too small or anything. Again you don't want it like, that tight where it can't fit around your doll's waist. You want it enough so that it can't fit around your doll's waist but it still has like some stretch to it. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to uh, want to sew it down so that uh, the elastic stays in place. And then you're just going to want to remove the pin since it's no longer needed there. And uh, 
that's sure what shape it's like once done. When you're done with that part. Uh, and then you're just going to want to pin it back that way so that you can continue back the rest of the pants. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to set the back center seam, and that's the other part. And uh, that's really what it should look like when you're done with that part. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold it so that it can uh, look like a pants. Uh, I don't want first time and make it look like a skirt, but you're going to want to make it look like pants. And then you'll just want to uh, pin it in place so that it stays together. Okay, so then you're just going to want to uh, cut your threads, and then you're going to want to do that again on the other side. Okay, so the last thing you're going to want to do is to just turn it inside out so that you don't have the cute design on the inside. You want the cute design on the outside. Yeah. Uh, so, these are what the pajama pants look like when 
They're all done, and so now I'm going to show you a photo of what they look like on my dog. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And you might get a shout out if you subscribe or comment. Just make sure your subscriptions aren't private. Now on to shout out of the week. Today, we're giving a shout out to Amy's American Girl Doll channel. Thank you so much for your subscription. Bye!